It is my great honor to be here to share with you what I believe in and all what my passion is and what we have done. I use the word we because it's not only me who is believing in bridging the development gap through the knowledge sharing. Let's not call it a talk. Let's call it a sharing uh, for me from Thailand. Um, I would like to share with you today just for about you know, 10 to 15 minutes. What can one do to make a difference? And also, um, anyone can be a teacher, anyone can be a student, and the classroom is anywhere. Can be in the big room, can be in a small room, or even on the internet or on the computer. But what we're gonna share, I'm gonna share with you today are some of the examples of we have done uh, in terms of you know, uh, the uh, knowledge sharing. Um, I believe that the knowledge is unlimited. It can be shared to anyone. The more you give out, the most you will gain back. And then this is uh, where I will begin my presentation. So let's ask ourselves, what is a development gap? Money? Knowledge, happiness, there's so many gaps when people say, you know, what you need. You can say money, you can say anything. But for us, or for, for me at the beginning, I thought, you know, I came from a middle class family. So my parents joined uh, the family in the rest of the world. They want the best education for the children, right? I said, okay, I got that. So me and my siblings said, okay, so we have good education and we do. But my parents are a little bit demanding. So they said, you get good education, but you have to give out to others. I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. I did not understand what they meant until I graduated. You know, I came back from, to Thailand and then I started working in a big firm, one of the biggest uh, auditing firm in the world. So I give out my knowledge to big uh, Manthai Corporation, a uh, huge company. And, I told, and my mom said, hey, you know, you're not doing what we agreed. I said, okay, uh, what we agreed on. Getting a good life, I, I'm having a good life. But my mom said, no, giving out to others. I said, mom, you know, giving out to others, I teach them how to make money, you know, I'm a lawyer, I, make, I teach them to make money and do the right thing, you know, according to the law. And she said, no, I think you can do much more than that. And I was like, I don't know what to do. You know, I don't have money to give out. What can I do? But it was one day, I was invited by the Office of SME Promotion in Thailand to give a lecture on uh, how, to, uh, how the small, medium enterprises do business in other country. And I was like, oh, I don't know what are the SME, you know. So I studied them, and I realized that, you know, they need knowledge, not only from me, from a lot of people. Then I start feeling like, okay, this is, might be the way that I can give out to others. So when I go out and give talk, I feel so good. I came back home, I'm so happy. But then one uh, day, I was like, this year I've been giving more than 100 talks, how many people I can teach. I can't do this by myself. And that's not only law people need to know. There are other disciplines that people need to know. What can I do? Instead of asking myself, what can I do? What can I do more? Then I think maybe it's time for me to ask others, what can we do? So I turned to the left. I saw my sister. I was like, okay, I'm going to ask her. She is a professor also. So I asked my sister, what can we do, you know, um, to make an impact without using a lot of money because I don't have a lot of money to give. And she said, you have traveled a lot, especially in Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, and Vietnam. What do they need? Uh, what do they need to develop, you know, their knowledge? To become, to have a better life, to have a good life. Uh, let's say, I say in Myanmar, they need books. But I don't have money to buy books. I have some books I can donate. My sister said, hey, this is a bad idea to start with. So she asked other professors and also libraries and also publisher houses and also a bookstore to donate 3,000 used and new books. That year, three years ago, we uh, were able to gather 3,000 texts 
English textbooks to donate to Yangkung Library. Um, can you imagine 3,000 books can help how many people? Then I feel like I'm going to the right way, but I need help. I can't do it by myself. So my sister and I start asking other professors, other companies, can they help? What can they do to help other people? Not only Thailand, our, our uh, neighboring country as well. That is the beginning of what we have been doing today. I will show you three of the projects we have done in the last three years. The first one will be the knowledge sharing. Remember, I just uh, mentioned that anyone can be a teacher, anyone can be students, and the knowledge can be anything. So these are the photos that I train students. Uh, together with Konkan University, it's public university. Uh, my university, Turakit Bandit University, is a private university. This one is a public university, one of the top five universities in Thailand. Okay? So we gathered uh, students who wants to share their knowledge.